Staying on Forever Young, looking good and feeling gorgeous over 40. You know, the stars can do it. There's Oprah, of course, and the beautiful Sheryl Crow, the sophisticated Diane Keaton, and Goldie Hawn. Well, they've all made it look so easy, and you can do it, too, with a little help from style expert and fashion consultant Christine Schwab, who has written The Grown-Up Girl's Guide to Style. Christine, good morning. Good morning. So The Grown-Up Girl's Guide, as I understand, came out of your own personal evolution with you know, you're struggling with styles and things that worked for you. How hard was that to find things that could actually fit into your life and style as well, you matured? That's why I wanted to write the book. I figured out my whole career has been in fashion and beauty. Mm -hmm. And when I was having decisions to make that were difficult, I put something on and I go, I love this. Wait, I don't love it on me. It doesn't fit. It doesn't work. Yeah. And I had to change my style. I thought, if I have to do that, and this has been my business. What about the real woman, the average woman that doesn't have my background? How does she do it? So it took me a long time to get the courage to really write the book because I tell all. Mm -hmm. It's very honest. But I thought, you know what? Somebody needs to be a spokesperson for the grown-up girls because we're different. This boomer generation is not like the generation well, before. Well, and of course, we're all faced with the trends in Hollywood, and you know, the influence right. comes from there. And, right. and you see, for example, 40-something women making the mistake of often being a little too trendy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, what are and some of the things that they're doing wrong in your 40s? Well, well, in the 40s, you have to really be careful not to be too trendy and dress too young because you're still, you're still thinking you're 30 and yet you're 40 mm -hmm. and things are starting to change on your body. You want to look a little bit more grown up. So you need to shop in the departments that don't have the blaring music. If it hurts your ears, <laughs> then you're probably not in the right place. How is the body changing? I mean, when, as you do mature, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s? Oh, well, skin, skin, skin texture starts to change in your 40s. Sometimes it doesn't until your 50s, but it does start to change. Your body starts to change. Things shift a little bit. You have to work right. out a little bit more. You know, the you just notice changes. After children. And, you, and you notice that, you know, those trends look a little bit foolish on you. We never want to look foolish. And in the 50s, you say, beware of going too bare. Too bare. Um, it's just something because we see Hollywood, we're so influenced by celebrities. And you celebrities are bare. We see arms, we see knees, we see a lot of things that, you know, really we need to start thinking about covering up. And women in their 60s, the danger there is you can look too matronly. You can. You know, sometimes you just sort of say, well, you know, I've worn this always and it's worked for me. But you need to evolve. You need to grow and always be open to new things. So you don't want to be bare, you don't want to be trendy, but you always want to be contemporary. All right. We have two real life models. Mm -hmm. We're here to demonstrate, put some of your advice to work. Now mm -hmm. let's take a look at the before photo of Lucille. And she works on Wall Street. Right. And so her faux pas, her fashion faux pas, well, was what? Well, Lucille is a single woman. And so Lucille is competing with women in their 20s and 30s for the same guys. And it's not really fair, but it's a reality. So Lucille likes to go out at night. She mm -hmm. likes to dress sexy. This is way too so many she's trends. She's showing too so much skin she's showing, she's showing cleavage. She's showing upper arms. She's showing tummy. She's got way too many accessories. We love our denim jeans. I love them. But we don't want them to be decorated when we're over 40. We want classic, beautiful denim and take jeans. a look at Lucille now and so, tell me how this look works for her. Well, this looks because Lucille is also petite and she's short-waisted. So when you're a petite, all one color dressing, just elongates you. It makes you look slimmer and taller. Winter white. look. Yes. Right. Winter white is so elegant. It really looks and terrific. And with her dark features, it really just makes everything pop right. even and more. And yet, and then she can still wear her big accessories, you know. And Now, this is a cotton, a great cotton zip sweat. So she can zip it a little bit more at night and zip it a little bit mm -hmm. more, zip it up a little bit more during day. It's appropriate. But I mixed great fabric textures like the cottons and the flannels and the canvases rather than mixing a lot of colors and a lot of real trendy things. Yeah, she looks fantastic. Lucille, what do you think? I love it. Yeah? Are you going to change your style I, now? I like the new look. It's very classy. It's a um, little more conservative than I'm used to. But well, you work on I, Wall Street. I like so. it. That's true. Well, I dress conservative for the office. Good. Good. But a little trendier at night, and I, I like this look. It's Good. A little she's more gonna, of a grown-up you know, look. She's going to work it. on getting used to it. I found her taking off a pair of hot pants when we were shopping at uh -oh. Spring. <laughs> I said, Lucille, put those hot pants back. Yeah, she, she said did. she would have bought them if she wasn't with you gotta me. you got to learn how to shop differently. Yeah, yeah, all right, right. Thank you, Thanks, Lucille. Right. Now, let's take a look. Next, we have Kathy, who's in her 50s. Kathy's in her 50s. She teaches special ed. She's been married 32 years, has three children.
So what mistake was Kathy making? Well, Kathy here? is larger on the top she, she, than she is on the bottom, so she was wearing something that was very baggy and very boxy. And just, just kind of cuts what? her off, It's right? just Doesn't matronly looking. She's an adorable woman. It's matronly looking. At the 50s and 60s, you don't have to look matronly, so let's we then make her look matronly. Let's make her look youthful. Here she is now, live. And tell right. us how this Well, we added a pair of wonderful sunglasses. You know, glasses, whether you have reading glasses or sunglasses, they update your look. It's so important to do and I put her in layers this is a crisp cotton shirt is on the cover of my book I love that for women a corduroy coat that's fitted turn up the collars the cuffs it frames and then the face more when frames it's turned the face. up right? and then we added wonderful accessories this is where you get your style is with really trendy accessories this is layering with your watch layering like yeah, we layered a charm bracelet right now yeah, yeah I love the charms this and just chunky everything right chunky. right this is really chunky it links up London they you can put charms on that tell your personality it's not too much the crop pants are a great alternative to shorts and to be very stylish for the grown-up girl looking very stylish Kathy and, and Lucille come on back out because we're running out of time we're going to take a look at your look one last time and Christine thank you this is a great great advice and, and, and this is just with nice starting off you don't have to do everything ladies. this is just starting with your wardrobe which is a great place to start perfect all right thanks so much Christine